Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a little while since I did a proper tutorial, but here we go. Today we're gonna make these cool abstract gradients. Um, first off, I like to start with a black background, so I it usually opens up with the white, so just press Command I to invert the colors. Next, I'm gonna go to Adjustments, click on Gradient Map, uh, click on the slider you see over here, and then I have my gradient map already made. I want, this is what I want my background color to be. And this is going towards the lighter spots. So in the brightest part of my image, I want red and then uh, yellow, green. And in the darkest, darker part, I want this light blue. And in the darkest parts, I want black. I'm gonna press okay and click on the reverse because I made my gradient backwards. I usually make them backwards. I don't really know why. It's actually, there's not much difference. You can make them whichever way you want because you can then just click here and reverse them. Anyways, I'm gonna click on the plus sign and then grab my brush tool. We're gonna make sure we have a soft round brush selected um, with no hardness. And you can just resize it you can also do that from here to from the size. And I'm just gonna draw a line and as, as you will see, the gradient will be applied to whatever I draw in here. So here's my first shape and it's already looking pretty cool. What I like to add then is just a bunch of filters and you can go as crazy as you want. You can try different, different things. Um, they're all gonna look pretty cool, I'm guessing. Um, I'm just gonna go to blur and add some motion blur. I like the motion blur effect, but I want my red to stay in the image. Um, and if I add this much, it, it's not gonna show as much. So I'm gonna go with a little less, maybe like 700. But this is totally up to, up to you. You can um, make whatever you want with this. I'm going to duplicate this and then add some more blur, motion blur. And I'm gonna go try with the other angle. Something like this. What I like to do next is merge everything together, not everything, not including my gradient map, just the gradients and the background. I'm gonna go press control and convert to smart object. Now, this is cool because if you double click here, your layers are separate, so they're still fully editable. That's the cool thing about um, these smart objects. Um, I'm gonna now, Go to Filter and Liquify. Um, I really do love the Liquify tool because it gives some like definition to it. And I'm gonna just add a little twirly thing. I want more black in here. Feel like this is pretty cool. I'm gonna press OK. Oop, we missed a little spot over here. So I'm gonna go back to the liquify tool and just make sure that my background is all set. And we're basically done. I then like to group everything. Duplicate the group, merge it. This way, yes, it's destructive, but I have my group with the non-destructive settings over here. And I'm basically just going to add some noise. And that's it. This is super cool. You can get some really awesome things. Uh, you just have to play with all the settings, all like the blur settings, and you can use the distort um, effects. You could just play around with it, but 
The basic combination is brush tool and gradient maps, and you can create some really cool things. Um, my gradient map packs are available for purchase, and I've got also some free packs. So they're going to be linked down in the description together with some texture packs that I have and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys love this tutorial, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!